Hello my friends! In this lesson we will analyze the customer churn, meaning that we will find what are the lost, what are the new and what are the returning customers. First of all we will define a period named last period and depending on the time when the customer bought we will see if it is a lost, a new a returning customer. You see here their definition. It's very simple. Lost customers are the one who did not bought in the last period but bought before. The new customers are the one who bought in the last period but not before. And returning are the customer who bought both in the last period and before. We will go to Power BI and we will see the solution. So the final table will look like this. We have the customer key and then the category. Is it a lost customer? Is it a new customer? And is it a returning customer? Let's see how we constructed this solution. First we will create a table with the periods. Here we have put days. Okay. This we will use in a slicer and to select the period. Okay. This was made very simple with the enter data. Okay, but you can make it in Excel and import it in Power BI. Then we have created a measure that looks at this selection in the slicer and verifies that you have selected just one period. It's called selected period. If count rows period is one, then it takes the value using the max function. Okay? The period being the column in this table. Then I have created the measure, the total revenue. Okay? So the data model is very simple. Okay, we have the fact table, fact internet sales. This is the educational database from Microsoft called AdventureWorks. Okay, we have the internet sales, the product, the customer, the date table, and here is our table with the period. Okay, so we have created the total revenue measure, very simple, summing the fact internet sales amount. And then we calculate the revenue in the last period. We call it last period revenue. Okay? So how we do it? We use calculate the sum of the sales amount. And then we have to define the dates between the interval. So we use the function dates between. First we tell the date column and then we use the date add for the start of the period. The start of the period is the current date, the current date minus the selected period because we want to start with the beginning of the selected period and end with the end of the selected period. So we, we use this function date add. The first argument is the last date. Okay. And then we have the selected period that we had seen before in the measure multiplied by minus one because we want to deduct it from the current date and then the the period is defined as a day okay and then the last date so after we have defined this measure we can start defining the customers category we start with the lost customers. So the lost customers are calculated like this. If total revenue is bigger than zero and the sales, the revenue in the last period is less than zero, okay, then it is a lost customer, meaning that this customer did not vote in the last period. Okay. Then we go to the new 
customers okay here again if total revenue is bigger than zero and last period revenue is equal with the total revenue meaning that the customers did not bought before the last period okay last period is equal with total period then it is a new customer and the last category returning customers have this condition total revenue bigger than zero and last period revenue bigger than zero meaning that they bought in the last period and also the last period revenue is less than total revenue meaning that they bought also in the period before the last period so they bought in the last period and before okay this is the definition of the returning customers so after we put this in a matrix we see that for example this customer 11046 is a lost customer the new customer is 110451 and here 11048 is a returning customer this is a method for analyzing the churn there are multiple methods but I find it very simple I hope you liked this video please like and subscribe this will motivate me to make other videos like this thank you